Today we'll make some sweet potato biscuits and these are delicious. I'm putting a little spin on them. We're going to add some bacon and some maple flavor to them and they are delicious. So here are the ingredients if you would like to jot them down. They'll also be below the video if you'd like to print them or you can simply do a screenshot if you need it for your trip to the grocery store. So first you'll want to go ahead and bake your sweet potatoes. Bake them um, until they are nice and you have like a syrup kind of oozing from them and they're nice and soft. I bake mine for a about an hour on 400 degrees Fahrenheit and you'll need about three and we are simply going to mash these through a strainer so that they will be uh, nice and fine you want it to be a nice soft mixture and so I usually do this the day before um, and I just put the sweet potatoes in my refrigerator I also went ahead and fried some bacon the day before that I made these okay so you'll just want to scrape the flesh out into a bowl okay so here we go let's go ahead and get started my ingredients I have some sifted flour it's um, self-rising I also have the bacon I mentioned with the sweet potatoes and then we have our sugar and our baking powder I'm adding two more teaspoons of baking powder to this we also have um, our spices along with some maple extract and I found that in the section where you obviously you find the vanilla extract and things like that and I haven't ever really seen it before so I'm using it and it turned out wonderful you need a little milk and then make sure that you chop up your bacon very fine you want very very fine pieces okay so to our baked sweet potatoes we'll add our maple extract along with the milk and our bacon bits and let's go ahead and mix all this together real well and we can set that aside while we get our dry ingredients ready so to our dry ingredients you can go ahead and add your sugar your baking powder all of your spices with the salt and we'll just uh, whisk this to combine and now we want to chip in our cold butter now I didn't show you this ingredient in the beginning because I like to leave that in the refrigerator until I'm ready for it so let's go ahead and with our pastry cutter we'll go ahead and break the butter down into the flour uh, till it uh, is a coarse mixture and then go ahead and add your sweet potato mixture and now we just want to gently combine these ingredients it's going to look like this it's not going to be real wet so now we'll go ahead and flour our board I just lightly flour it and we can go ahead and bring together our ingredients and remember I also added two teaspoons of baking powder to this mixture um, even though it is self-rising flour um, simply because with sweet potato biscuits they can be very dense and you really need that uh, additional baking powder to give them a little bit of a rise okay so just gently work your biscuit dough and I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and so I want to go ahead and put my cast iron skillet in the oven I'm going to do that now because I don't really want it to get it too hot I just want it to be warm I just don't want it you know to be cold when I put my biscuits in there so um, we're just going to put it in the oven right now because I'm almost ready to cut them out so I want to warm up my pan and so let's go ahead and flatten out our biscuits we're just going to gently turn them over about two or three times um, so that again we don't want to overwork the dough just gently flip them over like this and now we can kind of flatten them out you do not have to use a rolling pin um, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, use it so I floured it pretty good here and we just want to get a nice little flat surface just gently gently roll them okay don't mash down too hard I just wanted to go ahead and try to get as many out of here uh, as far as cutting them as possible so I'm not sure of the size of my biscuit cutter I'll leave it here uh, for you and my skillet is I think it's about a 10 inch skillet okay so I pulled it out of the oven it was just gently warm it wasn't real hot and now I want to go ahead and cut my biscuits so just push down straight don't twist them and with a small spatula I went ahead and just pulled them out like that because they can be pretty fragile So I want to go ahead and put these in the oven 
400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And meanwhile, I'll go ahead and cut out the remaining biscuit dough. I am actually going to freeze uh, the remaining biscuits. I had eight more here, and I just put those in a freezer bag and popped them in the freezer. I first put them on parchment paper. So right here I have the remaining scraps. I just kind of did the best I could with those. And so I'll show you how we'll reheat those at the end of the video. And I also want to go ahead and make some honey butter. So I love sourwood honey. It's so good. And so just to some softened butter, it was not salted. I went ahead and added some salt to it as well. So now my biscuits are ready. So we'll go ahead and give them a look here. They are nice and light. Uh, which is what I really like and I make these all, all the time but I don't normally put the maple and the bacon in them and it really just oh, they turned out so wonderful they're just delicious we love them we ate them you know it's kind of a sweet treat um, they would be great like for a Thanksgiving dinner or something too I just really really like them this will be a new family favorite I can tell So I mentioned that I also uh, was able to reheat the ones that I froze and uh, they turned out great. Um, I just fr um, reheated these in my toaster oven. My toaster oven has different settings and I found that the toast setting works better than the bake setting for my toaster oven and at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes straight out of the freezer. I didn't thaw them first. They turned out just great. We actually thought those turned out probably better than the first ones. <laughs> so I just drizzled some warm honey butter on there and they were also just, um, like I said, just delicious. So I hope you can give these a try. And if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by heading down there and giving me a thumbs up. Um, also, for some more sweet potato recipes, you're welcome to head on over to my channel while you're down there and click on the playlist section. And that'll take you on over there where I have some playlists listed for you. And um, there's one for sweet potatoes. So that'll give you some other ideas of ways to use your sweet potatoes. So thanks so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.